floating point numbers. Uh, there are two different types of floating point numbers. There's a float and a double. Basically, these two types are numbers that don't have to be whole numbers. So to kind of jump into an example to hopefully uh, explain this a little bit better, we have a variable that we created called dog weight, and we've defined that it's going to be a float. And you can see here we assigned a decimal value to dog weight. And remember with integers, we couldn't have done that. Uh, we could only use whole numbers, but here decimals are totally okay. And uh, remember the definition is, is that the float doesn't have to be a whole number. You can still pass a whole number into a float and it uh, totally computes. Now you may be asking, what's the difference between a float and a double? Well, a double is essentially just a more precise float. Uh, according to the Swift documentation, a double has up to 15 decimal points of accuracy and a float has only six. So depending on your situation, um, you can decide which one you would like to use. So remember that we want to, uh, rather than doing this as a two-step process, just directly say dog weight is equal uh, to some floating point number. And uh, you may be wondering, okay, so you know, before if this was just 34, the Swift compiler can say, okay, dog weight should be an int, right? And if we say dog weight is equal to 1.4, we got a problem, right? It only can take ints. So if we say 34.5, is Swift going to turn dog weight into a float or a double? Well, according to the documentation, uh, dog weight would become a double. Uh, when inferring what type it should use, uh, Swift always goes with a double. And uh, you can see, even if you're doing something like taking an int and adding a uh, floating point number to it, like a double, uh, dog weight is going to be a double. Uh, Swift is smart enough to do that, right? So here assigning some decimal value to it is totally valid.